this shit. We ain't trying to hear that shit. Man. Now I read the scripture earlier in First Corinthians. Uh, uh, he that is spiritual judges all things. What's that mean? We gonna judge all things. We ain't gonna leave no stone unturned. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You have Hey, cause the Lord, the Lord said to the angels in heaven, hold up, this is fucking faggot ass book. So the scriptures say that the angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner repents. That's right. You can't right. repent if we don't tell you what you was doing wrong. That's right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but their minds is we ain't supposed to say a damn thing. Just accept everybody as they are. What? Come as you are. What? That's crazy, man. Isaiah 66 and 15. You good with that camera? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Yeah, those chariots, that's talking about the so-called UFOs. When the Lord comes back to the earth, he's coming out the sky with legions of chariots, and thousands of angels, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. The, the slain of the Lord shall be many. <laughs> I, thought, I thought Jesus loved everybody. Right, right. If Jesus loves everybody, how come the Bible says the slain, slain means to get killed. The slain of the Lord shall be many. All right? I got a scripture to back you up on the chariots. If you want that? Yeah, that's what I was saying too. That's the spirit. Uh, exactly like I said, the, the Lord's coming out of the sky with thousands of angels. The scriptures say that every eye shall see Him, <laughs> and He won't show Himself as a man. I shall not meet you as a man. Here we go. It's Psalm 68 and 17. The chariots of God are twenty thousand even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should get that, bro. What's that? What's the, the Exodus 20. We read the whole Exodus 20. Okay. Not at 19, but I want the Ten Commandments. Because at the end it talks about the chariot. But we can break down the Ten Commandments step by step and show you how wicked this fucking country is. Exodus 20. Yeah. Because you can read how it's talking about how the most high went up there. Yeah, you know, you that's just, like, yeah, they just, see, that's it. He just goes straight to it. Yeah. We ain't got to read that whole thing. Okay. Well, it kind of explains it. Okay, go ahead. Exodus 19 and 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. Now, that's that's the, that thick cloud's talking about that chariot. That's right. Because it's like, uh, was it Matthew in the New, in the gospel says, behold, uh, was it, he, he cometh with clouds. Mm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And every eye shall see him. Yeah. Um, and Moses told the words of the people unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go unto the people and sanctify them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their clothes. You know, the, the, the Lord Moses preparing these for yeah, the Lord. Because they about to go right up to the Lord himself. That's what they asked for, right? Yeah. Remember, that's what they asked for. And then the Most High said, You got to purify yourself before you can come near this. That's right. You know what I mean? They going to part us. All right, it's going to break it down. And be ready against the third day. For the third day, the Lord will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. He said he's going to come down from the sky. Go ahead. And thou shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to yourselves, that ye go not up unto the mount, or touch the border of it. Whosoever toucheth the mount shall be surely put to death. So, yeah. Burnt the fuck up. Touch that. It's a great, a great heat. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Thou shalt not in hand touch it, but he shall surely be stoned or shot through, whether it be beast or man. It shall not live. When the trumpet soundeth long, they shall come up to the mouth. 
These are instructions the Most High has given Moses to give to the people. And Moses went down from the mount unto the people and sanctified the people, and they washed the clothes. And they washed their clothes. And he said unto the people, Be ready against the third day. Come not at your wives. Now have sex. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings in a thick cloud thick upon cloud. the mount. There go that cloud again. That's a that's the so-called UFO, but that's the the main, that's the Lord ship. Right. What now you had a ship, yeah, it's a chariot. <laughs> right. It ain't gonna call it a ship. It ain't no regular spaceship. Just made, like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't made out of nuts and bolts and steel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. It's a spiritual, it's yeah. a spiritual uh, cherry. It's a spiritual vessel. That's the word I'm looking for, vessel. Yeah. Okay. Let me just start 16 again. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that yeah. there were thunders and lightning. And the Most High is not no alien. This ain't talking about it's aliens true. coming down and uh, brainwashing the Israelites. You know, people say some crazy shit. Say, oh, that was the reptilians coming down in the spaceship. It was the reptilians who gave the Moses the Ten Commandments. <laughs> people be saying all kind of stupid shit, man. But the scriptures clearly tell you that the Most High is a black man with woolly hair. <laughs> and that's who's flying around in that. All that's right? right? That's right. It don't say he's a reptilian. They say he got woolly hair and dark skin. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud. Just like uh, you watched that movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind and they got that big chariot on there. He said it was aliens in the movie, but Steven Spielberg's a damn uh, Jew devil, an Edomite. And he knew about the Bible. He stole that from the Bible and twisted it and perverted it. And covered the whole mountain. Yeah. yeah. And that's why they had yeah, that. It was blowing trumpets and making all kind of noise and music. Right. And the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud, so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. That just from the loud of the trumpet, just from the loud of that thing, just from the sound of that thing. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with the Most High. And they stood at the knee and they stood at the nether part of the mount, and Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke. The smoke, yeah, the most high, that, that ship generated all kind of fire and smoke. Mm. Mm. Because the Lord descended upon it in fire. That's all about those chari that chariot. Just like he just read in Isaiah 66 and 15, it said, behold, the Lord's uh, chariots come with fire mm. in a great world great whirlwind right. and the slain of the Lord shall be many keep going. and Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in, in, in fire and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace and the whole mount quaked greatly the whole mount quaked greatly you ever seen greatly. a mountain? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a real mountain oh, no. <laughs> I ain't talking about some <laughs> you know some big ass hill yeah. I'm talking about a mountain where they be climbing and it take, you know, hours and hours and shit. Oh, yeah. They get lost, yeah. <laughs> you know, end up dying. I'm yeah. talking about a giant mountain, man, that you look at it, got snow on the top of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a mountain. He had the whole, the whole thing was covered, man. Now you look at Mount Sinai anyway. Look at it on some pictures, man. But they don't even really know where it is. Right, sure. right, right. But now that I, area, man. Because I ain't never been over there. Because, but they, they, they probably do know where it is. Right, they, yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing but mountains in that area, anyway. Yeah. Cause you look at where, um, where Noah landed, ain't nothing but, but a, a series of mountains, great mountains. Okay, and the whole mountain quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake and the Most High answered him by a voice. And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mountain. And the Lord called Moses up to the top of the mountain and Moses went up. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go down, charge the people, lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze. And many of them perished. And let the priests also, which come near to the Lord, sanctify themselves, lest the Lord break forth upon them. And Moses said unto the Lord, The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai without charges thus. 
saying, Set bounds about the mountain and sanctify it. And the Lord said unto him, Away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up, thou and Aaron with thee. But let not the priests and the people break through to come up unto the Lord, lest he break forth upon Moses, upon them. So Moses went down unto the people and spake unto them. There's some more. Read all through the, keep on reading all. Okay. And most I spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. This is, yeah, this, this is Exodus 21. All right, keep going. Out of the house of bondage. So here it is, you got all kind of people today, they call themselves spiritual, talking about, why well, believe in the philosophies of the ancient Egyptians, you know what I'm saying? They, they believe in the ancient mysteries and the, the ancient sciences. You know, all this, all this new age movement. A lot of people say that the Egyptians had great wisdom and knowledge. And there's a lot of knowledge to be gained from studying. They just say there's a lot of knowledge to be uh, gained by studying the ways of the Egyptians. They try to say the Egyptians were an advanced society. If they were so goddamn advanced, how can the pharaohs always marry their sister? <laughs> but read that again. It said that Egypt is the house of bondage. That's right. This was 21. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So uh, Egypt is the house of bondage. And that's why you look on the back of a dollar, there's a pyramid, because America is spiritually known as Egypt, the house of bondage. Okay, America was founded upon slavery. Slavery is another word for bondage. And you're not focused. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So yeah, so that cuts the Constitution. You read the United States Constitution, it says you got freedom of religion. You can worship any God you want. The Church of Satan was founded in America. That's why in America they let Hindus and Muslims walk down the street freely. While we've been out here, I've done see like three damn Muslims walk past us. And they shipping in millions and millions of Muslims to America. And they want to kill your ass, too. The government, they're doing it on purpose. They purposely, because Obama, he's a fucking Muslim and a devil worshiper, a big faggot. They purposely shipping in millions and millions of Muslims and Hindus into this country, man, every day. You walk down the street, half the damn people you see are Hindu. Half the people you see that own businesses are Hindu. Goddamn Muslim. And, and you go to any like stores owned by a Muslim or a Hindu. If it ain't a Muslim or a Hindu, it's a goddamn sheik. Okay? Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, let me read this. Revelation 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. Ascended up to heaven in a cloud. That's talking about those chariots, the so-called UFO. Okay, like that's why Gene Roddenberry knew the Bible. That's why they had that thing on Star Trek where they, people was getting beamed up. That's what the scripture's talking about is the, the, when the Lord left the earth, he got beamed up. The one you call Jesus got beamed up into a chariot. That's right. Okay, they go Andre 3000. It looked just like it, man, in that Cadillac. It fool drive probably drive a Cadillac. It looked just like that motherfucker. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour was there a great earthquake. A great earthquake. And the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake, in America, it's divided into ten parts. Oh, it's 10 FEMA regions. Yep, yep. <laughs> that's how you know what's talking about America. Plus you got, yeah, this, the 10 go, it, 10, that's a spiritual number too. Because, uh, what, what wasn't it the EU's 10 nations originally? The European Union? Yeah, I think so. Oh, well, you got the seven heads and the 10 horns. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You got NATO. Right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. yeah NATO. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, in the same hour, was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and, and gave glory unto the Most High of Heaven. The second woe is past. 
and behold, okay. the third woe the comes third world, yeah, That's the third world war. It's a woe. That's a big, big woe. Okay, that's going to be a big, big woe. Let me see what I know what woe means. Yeah, woe unto you motherfuckers. That's right. Either like that one song, what's that, uh, Black Rob, what's that? He had that song, Woe. <laughs> remember, he just kept no. saying, Woe. You ain't no. never remember that? No. That was on a bad boy shit. It came out in the late 90s. And I'd be like, Woe. He goes wrong now. Probably... Yeah, but he, 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 yeah, but woe unto him too. Right. You know what I'm saying? The name of our page, woe unto the wicked. Oh, yeah, woe unto the wicked. You know what I'm saying? That's how Isaiah, what, three or four? Isaiah, four, maybe? Um, yeah, but like World War II, that was a big woe. You talking about a big ass woe? Motherfucking World War II, that's some bugged out shit. I be, I be watching World War II videos, and I can't comprehend what I'm watching. <laughs> okay? Get, get on the internet and watch the Battle of Iwo Jima. They going up in the motherfucking Japanese got motherfucking tunnels and shit dug up in the damn mountains and hills and you running up in there with flamethrowers and torches getting mowed the fuck down right dying by the thousands running in just enough to get that grenade in there and up getting blown up your damn self yeah, yeah. Shit is just, world war ii some sick bugged out shit man yeah, some un it's unlimited videos on it, it it's I'm fascinated it's like it, the devil recorded it on purpose he made sure he got the footage of that mm -hmm. yep. you know what i mean it's watched like them. it was because it's a big show. It's a big show. Yep, yep, yep. Watch them, watch them videos on the battleships and shit. Man. The, the kamikazes Ooh, coming down. Man, that was crazy, man. And the, yeah, you got you know the Japanese were some bad motherfuckers, man. Yeah. It, it, that's why the Mosai set it up. That they wasn't allowed to rule. Okay, the America was set up. The Mosai set America up to rule. Okay, and that's why he took out the Japanese. That's why. He made the emperor of Japan bow down to the American president, pretty much. You know what I mean? And now, now Japan's allies with America. What kind of faggot shit is that? What kind of fucking faggot shit is that? You're right, you're right. That's the way the Most High set it up. If it wasn't for Harry Truman dropping them bombs on Japan, that war would have went on forever. You know what I'm saying? Check this one out. Uh, this is uh, Revelation 12 and 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. The dragon is Satan. That's the, that's the so-called white man, Esau, the Edomites, the motherfucking the rulers of the earth, the Illuminati. That's who that's talking about. And if, oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, read that. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Right, because the dragon's angels or is the military. That's them, uh, the, 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 the jet fighters. You know what I'm saying? F-16s that they praise. The F-35s now, the good ones. Oh, yeah. The they, top secret ones. They just, one just crashed in West Virginia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but those are angels, just like they got the, what do they, they call that, the, the, the blue angels? Yeah, yeah. The, you know, the ones that they fly in formations so, of the air shows? Yeah. They call them the blue angels. Yeah, that's okay. Right. So that's Satan's angels. They are angels. The angels have wings, right? That's right. Just like a plane has wings. It's like in a, it's a, a, a the, the Satan's angels. Cause Satan got some artificial angels. They ain't real angels. So the the real angels are gonna come down in clouds and chariots and clown on them angels. Yeah, and clown on them. And fought against this angel and prevailed not. Now ain't gonna be none of that Independence Day bullshit. When Will Smith. Make some motherfucking uh, UFO crash and jump. He go, yeah, he flew up inside of this shit. Right, right, right. What the fuck? The Will Smith's a big faggot, man. Nigga should be ashamed of himself, man. And prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. The old devil, see the devil, that's talking about a man. It's not talking. Any, look, anytime you see that, when you read it, hold on. Book of Revelation. Anytime you see that word dragon or Satan, that's talking about the Roman Empire specifically, which is now known as America. Because America is the Roman Empire in the reincarnation. Like always, oh, uh, there's this TV show that came on on Showtime or HBO. It was called Spartacus. You know, Spartacus was a slave who he was an ex-gladiator 
who fought against the Romans, and he, he, he had a rebellion, okay? But the very first episode of Spartacus, well, I think it was the Red Serpent or the Red Dragon, telling you that that serpent and dragon is talking about the Roman Empire. That's a great dra a fire-breathing dragon. Because what does a fire-breathing dragon do? It devours everything in its path. You know what I'm saying? It stops, it destroys, it kills, and leaves nothing left. It turns everything into a barren wasteland. That's what a dragon does. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan was deceived, which deceiveth the whole world. It's like America deceived the whole world. Just like the ancient Roman Empire deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. When the angels get, that's that military getting cast out. All the sorcerers and wizards. They, you say, if you say sorcerer and wizard, people will laugh at you. Like, ain't no sorcerers and wizards. You motherfuckers don't know shit. That's why it's been in the news like every week. There, there's Every week it's in the news that somebody found a goat or a ram uh, set up on an altar. Like somebody, it was just in the news in Central Park, New York. You know what? You're right, you're right. Yeah, they're doing uh, satanic rituals out in public. It was several different places. All over the place. One was in Detroit. They found all goats. It was all goats. All goats. They were yeah. all goats. And that's kind of spiritual too. Because Esau on his way out and goat. Esau is referred to as the goat. He's a goat. Yep. I was reading that too. It was different places. They was finding sacrifices of goats all around. He's all on his way out, though. They probably had sex with that goat first. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like Alistair Crowley said, Alistair Crowley would let the goat fuck his girlfriend, and then when the goat started uh, to ejaculate, he slit the goat's throat. He said he, he used the goat's spirit to summon up demons. He was summoning them, too. Yeah, they, he was summoning up some demons already. Right? It's actually, you can actually do it. I wouldn't advise you to do it, but you can do it. <laughs> Just like your boy, uh, your boy, uh, <laughs> your boy saw with the Witcher Indoor. Yep, yep, yep. Him and the Witcher, we read that last week. Yeah, we read that last week. Yeah. Yep, um, um, that Kanye West video when he... Oh, that was some weird you shit. I was freaky. I felt dirty watching that video, yeah, man. Yeah, that's Buck Kanye. You ever seen it? With the Kanye West video when the demon came out out of him? He pulled, nah, his, pulled a demon out of him. Yeah, something yeah. like that, yeah. He had a I demon inside of him, like a paper doll. He's puking it up or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I can't, I'm so long ago. And it didn't look like he... He fell asleep at a party, woke up with his pants down. That's right, yeah, right, right, right. You didn't right. see that? Nah, shit. That's yeah. some weird shit, because Kanye West is a big faggot. Yeah, he's a freaking nigga. I guarantee you some kind of Freemason. He, he's in all kind of satanic shit. He wears Baphomet t-shirts. You ever see his Baphomet shirt? Uh, he wears that Baphomet dress. A dress? <laughs> that Baphomet dress. And he always wears some tight ass pants. He probably, what's that bitch he's supposed to be married to? Kardashian. Dude, he's an actor, okay? They're on a stage. They're on, that's some TV shit. These people ain't really married. Just like uh, That's all for publicity. And then to sell records. Mariah Carey and her, that nigga she would get in a divorce. That's all for show, man. It's all to keep niggas quite interested in that soap. It's a giant soap opera. That's all, that's that's all it is. You know, and you know niggas, Israelites love soap operas. They love soap I mean, I ain't even hit it. It's early night, I just watch this shit too. Record label will tell you who you gotta be married to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You, you know Nick Cannon can give him somebody to find. Mariah Carey without all that makeup on that bitch like a monster, man. Who's with him? Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon, yeah. Yeah, that old ass bitch. Yeah, right. And why, what's this thing about they get married and they keep their real names? You know? These women keep their right, their real names, man. Not Tina Turner. You no. Know? Oh, right, right. That was old school, though. Yeah, she fought to keep that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's old school. <laughs> that you was know? old school. Yeah. See, they had to tell you something about uh, people say times ain't changed. And you know, there was rumors that she was still sneaking up here and paying Ike and seeing him, too, man. She probably was. Yeah. You know, can't get away from him, but she gonna still go off and do her. She's into, um, the Kabbalah, too. Yeah, you know, she Some is. Weird shit like that. And she, she was with David Bowie's weird ass. No, she was, you know. Even uh, though David Bowie makes some good music. Ziggy but, Stardust. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but David Bowie had that one song. That's my boy, David Bowie. He had that badass song called I, I'm Afraid of Americans. <laughs> he said, I'm afraid of America. I am yeah. too. Yeah. He's some creepy motherfuckers, man. Yeah. That's right. That's right. David Bowie, that's my dude. He played a big weirdo in that movie, uh, The Labyrinth. Uh, he played a sorcerer. He looked like a sorcerer. He pulled that role up perfectly. He probably did really worship Satan. He did, but he's a good actor. Though. Yeah. That. But that's an Israelite, though. 
Yeah, he's miserable. Yeah, he definitely you know? is right. Even Gene Simmons played in the uh, movie. He was a villain. Oh man, that, that Tom Selleck movie. He played, he was a good. That, he was a good. That, that movie. That's why she didn't do it again. He scared me when I was watching <laughs> right, that movie. Right, right, right. He had the little robots right. and shit. <laughs> What was the name of that movie? I can't man? remember, man. I, used to, I can't remember, man. Man, we had the VCR really tape. Remember. We I used to watch that over and over. I'm gonna have to go download it and watch it again. I'm gonna find it. Though. Yeah, he did play a good part. Because you already used to go to uh, Wikipedia, Gene Simmons, give you yep. his whole thing. Yep. 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 Wikipedia is something, man. That's, 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 that's shit. Some, yeah, that's my shit. Man. You want to learn, man. That's the internet's for. <laughs> that's what it's for. It ain't the folks. I ain't, I ain't gonna go there, man. Yeah, These people are foolish with their internet use, man. Oh, they just want to watch ice bucket challenges. And what was the last fad? What was that? Yeah. I can't, you can't concentrate with these hoes out here. What was the last fad with, with that dance that they was doing? The, uh, when everybody, what was that popular dance that they was doing? I don't forgot the I name. I know what you're talking about, though. Um, the, um, um, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, it was on YouTube. That, shuffle thing. The D for D for shuffle. That, uh, uh, that? that's something terrorista. Uh, the Harlem Shake, my fault. Yeah, they was doing a, they, they ain't doing the Harlem Shake no more. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing people get on YouTube to watch. The Harlem Shake, the ice, oh, the, the ice, ice bucket, bucket, the new shit. Yeah, the ice bucket challenge, all this dumb ass shit, man. They want to watch kittens get caught in a fan. They, they ain't on there watching documentaries on the Roman Empire. They ain't on there watching documentaries on the Bible. You know what I'm saying? That's I, I, if I'm watching videos, there's some documentaries. I'm watching videos on etymology of words. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching uh, lectures. I watch history lectures. I, that, that, I ain't wasting my time, man. I got for you. This is Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Yeah, that's some simple ass shit. Doing a Harlem Shake, that's some simple ass shit. <laughs> watching nothing but Let's Play videos, that's some simple ass shit. Any of y'all done the ice bucket challenge? Y'all need to do the diarrhea bucket challenge. <laughs> <laughs> How long you simple ones will you love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge? And for a fool of hate knowledge. That's why people hate us so much, because we got too much knowledge. If you got knowledge, everybody's going to hate on you, man. You're going to make a lot of enemies. They're like, stop talking about it. You you bringing me down, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say that people tell me all, all the time. They be like, you bringing me down, man. They call you a Buzz Killington. <laughs> That's crazy. Shit, but though. knowledge, when I'm uh, drinking beer and shit, talk about knowledge makes me, you know, I have a good time. Right, it right. don't bring me down. Right, right, right. It shit makes me happy. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I get, I get amped reading history, watching history videos. Yeah. That shit excites me. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you find out it was you part of it. You know what I mean? We're Israelites. Most of the good history was Israel. Exactly. You know? Yeah, you ain't, ain't nobody watching no Chinese documentaries. You go fuck them. Oh, um, go ahead. Actually, there wasn't even pockets of Israelites in China, too. Oh, go ahead. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, Oh yeah, this is what we want to say. This is Ecclesiastes 79. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning me. I hate the fucking code of us, man. All they do is clog up the goddamn street. Slow traffic down and make you late for work. <laughs> and then if you ever get on a code of bus, there ain't no fucking room to sit nowhere. You gotta pay two dollars to fucking stand up. Can't get a goddamn seat half the time. Raggedy ass shit. Yeah, every time you, ain't nothing but fat stinking ass bitches be on a code of bus. If you want to see some weird shit, go ride the code of bus. Right. You, you, man, you, better, you gotta wear one of them safety masks so you don't breathe in a bunch of germs and viruses. Cause we had a dude in our camp that was driving a, a oh, code yeah. of bus one time. He was always telling us, "Come man, go ride, just ride the bus, man." Cause man, hey, that was a, that had to been a fun job. Just the people, man, just bugging off off the weird ass people, man. I mean, people are weird, man. These people are fucking weird. 
Say, I'm gonna read it again. Say not thou, thou what is the cause that the former days were better than me, for thou dost not uh, require wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is nothing to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it. Like what the brothers right. were trying oh, to yeah, say. The oh, wisdom gives life. That's like the, uh, like this is like an oasis of truth. Like you out in a hot desert, you out in a hot desert, walk around, your lips is all burnt up and shit from the sun. You can't, you know what I'm saying? You about to pass out. Lips all chapped. Yeah, you get heat cramps and shit. No spit, the moisture, the yeah. moisture right. And then you see that, oh, that oasis, you go get you a drink and you feel rejuvenated. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? It gives you life. That's right. But the Lord said, hey, get Jeremiah too, I'll get it. No, go ahead, get what you get. It actually has something to do with what I'm getting when we get uh, into it. Uh, something about, we're talking about uh, the rivers and the fountain. Yep. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because like, uh, this is the oasis of truth. This is the oasis. We, we, this is a desert. Actually, it's literally a desert. It's fucking concrete every damn where. That's how the devil does it. He fucking chops down all the trees and pours concrete everywhere. Yeah. School starting up again. It's gonna be crazy out here. Yeah, uh, they just get, uh, introduced what? Uh, so many thousand freshmen here the other day. Yeah, so that's why you get all these people out here. They have to come here, get their freedom now. And that's when the part, when football season starts, when the party starts. That's when there's a lot of people out here. Usually, like in the summertime, it's slow out here. Yeah, why it's about to be crazy out this motherfucker. I can sense it. They come to the house, they just to get marked. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, but this is just nothing but party central up here, man. Because half the people up here ain't even students. They just come up here for the party. I know for the business. For Jeremiah 2, but what was I looking for? Jeremiah 2 and something. I knew I was looking for 2. I'll find this bar. We was talking about pretty much the rivers and living water. Oh, okay, okay. Um, hey, just started, uh, hold on. Yeah, you can start. And now it has all to do with the music to drink the water for sweet. Yeah, you just started that one, yeah. The start with the, yeah, started that. Okay, um, uh, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 18. And now that has thou to do with the way of Egypt to drink the waters of Sodom, or what has thou to do in the way of Assyria to drink the waters of the river? That, that, that seahorse, that's talking about the Nile. That, the Bible got a different name for the Nile. They don't call the Bible the, the Nile, I mean, the river Nile in Egypt, the Nile, okay? He's got a Hebrew name, mm -hmm. but uh, but but talking about drinking the waters of the river now, that's not talking about actually taking a drink out of it. It's talking about taking on the philosophy to the Egyptians, going following the ways of the Egyptians, like a lot of people do in America, because you know, like I said, that that New Age philosophy is popular when everyone's talking about that ancient comedic sciences and the ancient Egyptian mystery schools and all this nonsense. Mm. They'll even say Jesus. They'll say Jesus during his missing years was studying in Egypt. And you hear that shit every day. Mm -hmm. uh, studying in Egypt. That's, that's, amazing. that's my madness. Yeah, man. But he, yeah, but he didn't say nothing good about Egypt, though, did he? Right, you can't find one good thing in his Bible about Egypt. Not Hell one. no, not one. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. Thine own wickedness shall correct thee. And thy backslidings shall reprove thee. Like, yeah, right, because... Like the Lord said, he said, by the word shall thou be justified and condemned, you know what I mean? So when you come over here talking that Egyptian shit, you condemn yourself, man. That's right, that's 
right. when you come up here talking about uh, I'm a great American and this is a great country you know man we're going to prosper we're going to make it out of this slump <laughs> yeah right you know right, what I'm saying right. <laughs> they trying to hear that shit yeah <laughs> like Alex Jones he always we're going to make it we're going to turn this thing around oh, we're going to turn around he's a great American the globalists are going down he's a great American yeah, he's a great dumbass. <laughs> that fucking pink Cadillac. Oh, that bitch was fine as a motherfucker driving a pink Cadillac. Wow. You know, that's a proud ass bitch right there, boy. You, can't tell her uh, you know, that bitch was a stripper. Had to be a stripper. About to die, I think. It just hit the record button. I'll get it. Give it to me.